We're making personality placemats and, and kind of preserving artwork of our grandchildren and our children. First thing you need to give them is some freezer paper. Freezer paper is inexpensive. It's easy to draw on. If they make a mistake, just toss it. And you can get about any size you want. Tear them off a piece about what well, needs to be a little bit bigger than 13 by 19. That's what our placemat is. You can actually make your placemat any size you want. That's just the size that I'm using. And if you'll notice on freezer paper, there is a paper side and a shiny side. I don't know if you can see that, but naturally it's hard to draw on the shiny side. So have them draw their picture on the non-shiny side. For demonstration purposes, I drew a dress. I'm a sewer, a quilter. But I thought this would be fun to draw. And you draw it in pencil. Okay? When your uh, child finishes drawing their picture, have them bring it to you. And you want to make it where you can see to trace it. So take a permanent marker, black. I've got blue here. And you're going to outline that picture. And just kind of rough it because they're going to come in and color. So we're just kind of, this is just making it easy for you to see. Now you're going to take your piece of muslin that we have cut um, 13 by 19. You can go a little bigger if you want. And you're going to lay that muslin on top. And as you can see by coloring it dark, you can see through to trace. And you're going to lay that on there. And then you're going to take a pigment pen, which you'll find all this in your scrapbooking stores, probably even Walmart, but it needs to say pigment or fabric pen. And then you're just going to see, you can kind of line that up and see under there. And you're going to trace it with your fabric pen. And then you're going to give it back to your child, and then they are going to color it with crayons.